Today, we're going to be going over how to beat the bear in Black Myth Wukong. So if you're looking for how to beat the bear in Black Myth Wukong, this is the guide for you. Dislike if it doesn't help, by the way, so other people know. Now, let's get into it with a big old whiff right here. But that's okay, because we're still going to beat the bear. So first things first, when you get in on the bear, go low and attack from behind. And you've got to go low because it's a big boss. But basically, just keep attacking from behind. The bear doesn't have a ton of attacks that are going to hit you from the behind. It takes a little bit to swing around, so that can do a good bit of damage. My advice here would be put in as much damage as you can. If your attempt isn't really going well, you might just want to give up here. But if you can do about a quarter of a damage, now it's time to really go in. What you're going to notice about the bear is if you can do heavy attacks, you're going to be able to knock the bear down. When the bear goes down, start attacking hit 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 don't give up because if you were going to give up in a game you wouldn't have made it this far and you wouldn't be playing black myth wukong so keep, keep hitting the bear keep hitting the bear use all your special attacks your fire attacks everything like that key to beating the bear is going to come in the second half so for those of you that don't know, once you've done about 50% damage to the bear, and again, attack from back, freeze it, do everything you can to attack the bear, all this is pretty obvious. So what you're going to find is at some point, the bear is going to become fiery. And I don't mean spicy like a girl when you tell her something she doesn't like. I mean fiery, like literally like, you know, on fire. And there is, it happens in this game, a thing that you can get in chapter one that's going to make you immune to fire damage. This is a cloak, and this is what you're going to want to use. So once you use that cloak, the bear is going to hit you. It's not going to be doing fire damage. This makes it extremely easy to take. All you've got to do is keep freezing and going from behind. Now, how do you get this cloak? You do this by ringing the bell. Buy it three bosses in chapter one. So you fight three bosses. You beat them. You'll find these bells. You ring the bell, you're going to fight this golden guy. Once you beat him, you're going to be able to get a cloak, and that cloak is going to make you invincible, or yeah, pretty much invincible to fire damage. With this newfound invincibility, you can try the hottest ship on the market, or you can beat the bear. So yeah, just, just keep attacking the bear, and again, like I said, go from behind, use those light attacks, and get out of the way when those big attacks come. A lot of time with this one, you're going to be able to get a little bit of a warning before he drops his attack. This would be when you'd want to roll back. Those heavy attacks are good for stunning the bear, but don't go too hardcore on them, because I've found that I do miss a lot of the time, and it's just better to do light attacks from behind. But again, attack from behind, light attacks, get in, get out. And then when you get past that 50% damage, the bear becomes fiery. Make sure you use your invincibility cloak or your fire invincibility cloak or whatever you want to call it. There's an official name for it, but I forgot it if I'm being honest. But yeah, that, that's going to help you get through the bear. If this guide helped, again, make sure you like. And if it didn't help, dislike. Until next time, peace.